Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Vir here and welcome back to my journey of me building an affiliate website using Django, Python and React Stack. In the previous video, we have created a brand new homepage using Django templates, Django views and Django URLs. And in today's video, I will show you first how to assign a custom domain to your localhost website and second, how to run your Django website using Unicorn Web Server, a server which will process all HTTP request from the browser and third how to serve your website including static files using Nginx proxy server. So let's get into it. As you may have noticed, my website currently don't have any domains. Its URLs is pointing to localhost IP address. And what I want to achieve is I want to give it a custom name. I don't want to type into browser my IP address every time I want to visit my website. I want just to type in a custom name that I can easily remember. What I want to do is to go to the folder private slash etc and open the host file. And in this file, I will define my custom domain. So I will type in my localhost IP address and I will give it a custom domain 10x.local and I will save the file. It asks me if I want to save the file as a super user and I will click yes. I will enter my password and save the file as a super user. The reason why I want to use the custom name is not only for the convenience of not having to type a long IP address, but I want to have my local development environment as similar as my future production environment. And if in production, I will use custom domain name Unicorn for serving HTTP request and Nginx as a proxy, then I have to set up the same environment on my MacBook. Okay, I will close the host file. And as the next step, I will install Unicorn into my virtual environment. So I will open up the terminal. And since I'm still inside the virtual environment, I just type in pip environment install Unicorn. and the Unicorn is installed. But before we fire up the Unicorn server, we need to set up Nginx first. And because I have Nginx already installed on my MacBook, I will just show you the few commands you will need if you want to install the Nginx into your MacBook. So first, you will fire up the terminal and in the terminal, you will type in brew install Nginx. Let's say the Nginx will be installed without issues. Then you will want to fire up the Nginx service by typing the command brew services start Nginx. The next step will be to configure the Nginx configuration. So usually on MacBooks, Nginx configuration will be located in the path user local etc. Nginx slash Nginx.configuration. So I will open the file located in this folder. And in this file, I will define a new server object. Let's take a moment and look at the engines configuration. We are telling the engines to listen the port 80. We will process every request that has the 10x.local as its custom name. And if there is error, we will lock the error into this path that we will create later. And then we are telling engines to pass every request to our unicorn web server. So if anyone enters 10x.local into the web browser and click enter, then the Nginx will take that request, pass it to Unicorn web server and point it to HTTP 10x.local. Of course, we have to change the port to a unique number. For now, I will set 9050. You should set your number according to the other configured websites in your Nginx configuration. And lastly, we want to set every static file that are located in our 10x project folder, including HTML files, JavaScript files, or CSS files. So now I will save the engines.configuration and I will restart the engine server by using command sudo brew services restart engines. So our engines successfully started again and probably it reloaded its configuration files with our newest changes. After this step, what we want to do is to configure our Unicorn web server. So now I will go into my 
project folder 10x and in this folder i will create a new unicorn configuration file i will click on new file and i will type in unicorn conf.py and in this new file i will insert the unicorn configuration first i want to bind all the calls that goes to 10x.local through the port 9050 as we define in the engines configuration i will also want to save every error into unicorn error.log file the same goes with the unicorn slash access.log and since i'm in development mode i will set a debug mode for the log level i will set the workers to one because i will be the only one who will be accessing my development website now if i save the file and fire up my unicorn server with the command unicorn 10x dot wsgi and click enter it says that i forgot to create a folder for our access logs and error logs so inside my django project folder 10x i will create a new folder logs now if i try to start unicorn server with command unicorn 10x and if i visit my custom domain 10x.local it should work but unfortunately i got the error that my custom domain is not included in allowed host django settings so let's quickly add the settings into the settings.py which is located in 10x application here i see the variable allowed host which is right now empty and i will include both localhost ip address and my custom domain 10x.local i will save the settings and now if i restart the unicorn server and reload the web page in my web browser again i see my home page so that will be it for today guys today we just set up a complete development environment on mac os we installed unicorn server we set up the engines and we made our custom domain work and now we can finally start coding i hope that this video was helpful be sure to like subscribe and see you in the next video